you know, the, the great players we've been able to attract into the program and just seeing, seeing the work they put in. And you know, that's what you know, we, talk, we talk a lot as a football team. It's always about the work. And just to see guys that embrace the challenge, you know, they, they, they truly care about, you know, who they get to do it with and, and what they get to represent. Uh, it, it provides a great deal of excitement for, this, for, the season, for the season that's ahead and, you know, obviously the, the experiences that we're going to get to go through. But uh, this is a team that cares, uh, you know, they, they care a lot about what they represent, you know, being a Florida State Seminole. And, uh, you know, I appreciate them for that and, you know, excited to kick off uh, the, this season. Coach, to your left side, towards the door, gentlemen, in the orange. Hey, Coach, Tony Syracuse of the last word on sports. The ACC is a particularly strong conference when it comes to quarterback play. What sets Jordan, Travis, and Parker, any of the other excellent quarterbacks in the conference? Well, you know, Jordan's a special player. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, the, the greatest quality, I mean, you sit there and you, you watch all the things he can do on the field, you know, his accuracy, the way he throws the ball vertically down the field, the decisions he makes, um, you know, obviously the good Lord's blessed him with some great, uh, you know, talent and, and being evasive and, and extending plays, but, uh, you know, it's his heart. And, uh, I mean, the, the heart that he has, you know, how much he cares about his teammates, um, he's got a humble spirit uh, about himself, and then he shows up to work uh, to, to make others better. And, you know, when you have that trait at your quarterback position, um, he is what I want Florida State to look like. You know, just the, the, the experiences he's had to go through, some of the, some of the, the, the great success and some of the, the challenges that he's had to overcome, you know, you know working through uh, your college career. I mean, he's just a, he's a special person. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, when it comes to all the great quarterbacks within this league, I mean, they, they all have probably wonderful traits. Uh, you know, I've got a, I've got a special one. Special player, special person that, uh, uh, that's leading our team. Coach, your next three questions are going to come from just about the same spot in the back, so follow the center aisle up to the right. Hey, Mike, Greg McDavid from the Charlottesville Daily Progress. Uh, I'm wondering how, how does Petrell Cypress fit in with your program since arriving from Virginia? Yeah, I mean, he's been remarkable. And, you know, Petrell, you know, he's, he's, he's from the first day he's got here, it's, it's once again, it's been about the work, and, and not just on the field, but building a relationship with his teammates. You know, coming in and uh, you know, you're learning the things that we do schematically. Um, you know, he's just a, a, a wonderful young man, a wonderful representative uh, of our program. Um, you know, going through spring practice, you just saw the way that you know he was able to transition, and, and every day he worked to get better, to be more confident in the calls, more confident in communication. Um, you know, really took some, some some great steps as, as spring progressed, and you, you see that confidence that's, that's really emerged throughout the course of his of the summer work. Uh, he was in remarkable shape. He's done a great job in his physical development. You know, put on uh, you know great weight, and you know I think he's got a chance to be a, a really special player in our defensive backfield. Uh, you know, we've all got to see him, you know, and, and, and have seen him play uh, in ACC contests to play at a very high level, and I think he's he's about to take his game to a whole other level. You know, you know, here in Tallahassee. Keep your focus right there. Just one row forward. Coach, uh, Joey Palermo, WQU 90.9 The Light. Uh, every game in Florida State, there's always going to be a lot of hype around it. There's going to be a lot of buzz around the team. But how do you turn that hype into focusing on the field from your players? Well, I mean, it's it's exciting to be a football player at, uh, at FSU. And, you know, there comes great expectations. There comes great excitement. Uh, you know, you... There's nothing like running through the, the tunnel, going out there at the Doak Campbell Stadium. But you know, it's still it's about you know what we do. It's about the uh, you know the work that we put in and how we prepare, and then it's maximizing every play. You, you never know uh, which play in the game has, has a chance to be you know the one or the the, the one that flips the momentum or the one that uh, you know, is going to be looked you know, back upon. And so you got to approach all of them the same way. And you know we, we try to emphasize that throughout the course of. Of our off season and our training and our, and our you know, spring and, and fall camps. I mean, those those are those are the lessons that you have to prepare yourself for. And you look back a, a season ago, and, and we took some some great steps, you know, as a team. Um, you know, we had some some really you know positive experiences, and we had some games where we came up short for a variety of different reasons. You know, you know, and to be able to learn from those, you know, you've got to you've got to be able to pour all that you have into it. And so, you know, I want energy, I want passion, I want intensity. Um, but you know, I want focus, and for these guys to go play up to the uh, uh, the ability and the potential that they have, I mean, it, it, it takes it all. And, you know, I think our guys embrace that. Keep it right there, the gentleman right next to him. 
Coach Norvell, Jessica Hogan from PlantAndSphere.com. I'm actually going to pivot on my original question because I saw, you can't see it now, but you have the Bobby Bowden logo on the tie. Can you just speak to why it's important, the, the relationship that you have with him? You've developed the Team High GPA, the Seminole Scholar Program, the off-the-field work you see with Jordan and Dylan Gibbons last year. Just speak about why it's important to you to build this program the right way, the way it was built originally. Because th that is the standard at Florida State. And you know, we had the greatest greatest example in, you know, I think, collegiate football history of, of being able to, to sustain success. And you know, what Coach Paladin and that staff and those great teams, what they were able to accomplish, it was, you know, there were tremendous players on the field, but it was also the standard and expectations for who they were developing and growing to be off the field. And, you know, I've got, I've got a great responsibility, you know, leading this program. Uh, you know, I was fortunate to be able to meet Coach Bowden when, you know, within those first couple months of getting the job. And I'll never forget sitting down with him at, at, at my desk and, you know, in that, in that office. And, you know, he, he remember telling me, he said, be, be true to who you are. And you continue to make an impact on those young men, helping them to where they're going. And that's a daily challenge. And I, and I owe it to him, I owe it to, to, to his legacy to make sure we're doing this a certain way. And because, you know, I fully believe success is coming. And we took some positive steps last year in our 25th, 25th 10 win season. You know, a lot of great things. But when we achieve it, I want to be able to sustain it. And it's because of, of who we who we get to coach and uh, you know, what we represent, you know, you know, being a Seminole. And uh, you know, Coach Bowden was, was a special man. A uh, special leader, and he had some some incredible t you know teams that he got to, to be a part of, you know, impacting uh, those players' lives, and that still carries on uh, today with those individuals, and, and obviously in, in his in his legacy. To your left, front row, Coach Dean Tortora, Wake Up Call DT.com. The culture pillars for you with this program, just what you've been building here, like you said, moving towards success and sustaining that success. What are some of those pillars that you can lean on? as you step forward? Uh, you know, I mean, for us, it comes down to our core values of service, sacrifice, and respect. I want to be around a team that, that serves each other, you know, that, that's really willing to, to give up themselves. And you see that with, with our guys and, you know, the, you know, the impact they make within the community, the, the impact they make, you know, building the relationships. Because everybody comes from a different place. You know, we all come together uh, to play, to compete for championships, to push ourselves to be the best that we can. But, you know, also the, the, the willingness to be able to, to do it along with somebody and uh, to, to serve others, to make an impact, to leave, to leave your legacy on what that is. Uh, you talk about the sacrifice. You know, we own the team that's willing to sacrifice for, for ultimately what we desire. Everybody talks, you know, you know right now you got every team in the ACC, every team across the country is talking about a championship. Um, you know, I want a team that's, that's willing to, to sacrifice for what we say we desire. You know, every, every one of these young men, we all, we all dream of success, you know, but it, it takes the work. It, it takes the commitment. It takes, you know, the, the, you know, the discipline to be able to, to, to take those steps every single day to consistently you know, be who you want to be. And then, you know, obviously a program that, you know, that shows respect. You know, shows respect to those that have come before us and, you know, obviously make sure that in all of our actions that we're respectable. And you know, that's, what, that's what we strive for. And, you know, with those, trying to focus on those core values on a daily basis, it, it's important to us. And, you know, I believe that, you know, all the things that we've done off the field, you know, you see I mean, the team best GPA, you know, in, in program history, right, you know, I love to say all of our players just love academics, but you know they they love pushing to be their best. And when you see that show up, you know I think that helps carry over to what we do on the field, and the, the willingness to work, the willingness to make themselves uncomfortable, the willingness to, to to give a little bit more than what sometimes they even you know think they can. And you know I think that's where the confidence is is built, and you know that's what we're pushing pushing for is we're trying to take you know another step you know along our journey to where we're going. We've got four and a half minutes left with Coach. We'll get as many in as we can to the right side, fourth row. Kenton Gibbs with Locked On ACC. Uh, Coach, this team has high expectations externally and all that good stuff, but what are the core areas that you would say, if we are successful in this area or these few areas, that would be the linchpin of whether or not we look back on this season and say, this Florida State team reached their ceiling or their language to run the floor. This is the area of why we work where we work. I mean, I think it comes down to improvement, you know, and, and it's it's program wide, it's all all areas, and then being consistent in that, um, you know, as as you look back to a year ago, you know, there were there were ten times we stepped on the field and 
and then saw a lot of a lot of success uh, in those. But then there were times that you know we weren't as consistent as we needed to be. Uh, you know whether it was a certain certain situation, uh, the things that showed up throughout the course of the game. You know as we as we return a very experienced team. It's it's one that has a lot of competition. We've got great players that that have been on the roster that have been productive we've had wonderful players that have joined the roster and you've seen that come together so that we can consistently show it up daily getting better you know at the little things being a fundamentally you know based team you know being able to go out there and, and showcase all the wonderful abilities that our guys have I mean I think that that consistency is going to be critical um, you know with, with each game that we play here this this year and, and building up to, uh, to the opportunity that we have right side standing in the very back Coach Orville has on the JumaneeWarchant.com. You're really fortunate to have three starters coming back to your roster. What have you kind of cultivated, though, to maintain your coaching staff, and how fortunate are you that you continue to have that continuity with your coaches, and how thankful are you for that? No, I mean, I think it's critical, and it's one of the things that within our program we needed. We needed to have that that, that consistency, the continuity, you know, you know, being able to have a staff that uh, is, is able to pour into our players, and, and you know, they understand the expectation. Because um, every year is going to be different, and we have, you know, there has been some movement and guys that have gotten, uh, you know, great opportunities, uh, you know, in, in advancing their careers. But you know, we've been able to keep keep the core of it, you know, there in place. And you know, I think you know, for our players, you know, to, to have that relationship, to be able to build upon that, you know, understand the expectation. It's it's been huge, and uh, you know, great for our staff, great for our administration, for you know, helping support, uh, you know, and, and having them, uh, you know. A program that's going to be able to support you know you know our coaches and and, and they see that not only you know the enjoyment of showing up every day coaching these guys but also the opportunity for their development for their growth you know we've seen guys you know like Alex Atkins who has you know been promoted through in you know, Tony Tokar same thing you know Randy Shannon you know different guys that have that have you know worked you know worked through the program and uh, you know put themselves in great positions and you know I'm just grateful the guys I get to work with and the impact that they make. Coach, your last question quickly will come from the right side. Hey, my Chris Mandel from Perkins, Radio in Baltimore. Talk about the two-headed monster of the running game that, that took off right after the Clemson game, and just you guys just kept running and running and running. Is that one of those things you got to work on to keep that going? Well, yeah, yeah. We we want to be an offense that uh, you know obviously you know, is able to establish the run in each game, and that's something that is it's always a challenge. But we've got you know we've got. You know, great players that allow that to become our reality. I think that the uh, you look at the offensive line and, and the growth that they've had. You know, you, even some of the new additions that have come in. I mean, I think that's got a chance to be one of the most experienced and, and deepest positions on our football team. Um, and then you throw in our running backs. You know, obviously quarterbacks, receiver. Everybody plays a plays a role and a part of uh, being able to establish the run game. And it's something that that has to show up for us. But uh, we think that can be a, a you know a great strength of this football team as as we jump into the season. My thanks to the coach and to the room. We got a lot in in 15 minutes, so thank you. Coach, you can switch places with Kaylin. Kaylin, we'll see how much we can get done in five minutes' time. If you would please re identify yourselves to our student athletes. We'll start with a hand raised on the right side, about oh, two quarters of the way back, two quarters, listen to me, three quarters of the way back to the room.